Today I have with me Helen Berenfeld, the Global Fashion Industry Strategy Director at Info. Having worked with many fashion brands, Helen has a really good understanding of the business needs of fashion companies. She's worked in this space for over 20 years, helping customers with their transformation journey, being a thought leader in fashion, as well as keeping up with market trends. And in addition to all of that, she has a really good understanding of uh, tech solutions in key areas like PLM, um, supply chain management, as well as core ERP support. Hi, Helen. Thanks so much for joining me today. So everyone's talking about it, right? Sustainability and fashion. Fast fashion is unsustainable, consumers and brands need to embrace a more circular model. So you have so much experience in this area. Could you please share some of your insights? Yes, for sure. So first, uh, there are two things I'd like to touch upon. The first is the design process when it comes to sustainability and the second one is the production. So if we think about PLM or the design process, uh, there's so much in there that we can work on, like fabric, for example. I mean, is it made for recycling? That's a key component. Another thing is to think about, is the collection that we are developing fit to market? So this thing around social voting, letting consumers have a say very early in the design process to figure out if this is going to be a best-selling collection or not, because otherwise we end up with the risk of having waste in the end. And it's also around compliance with suppliers and not just the main supplier, but sub, sub, sub or tiered suppliers. All the way down to the, the cotton and all the different operations that we do in the supply chain. And a final thing around avoiding waste, that's also in the bill of material, how we design the product to avoid waste in production around fabrics. The second part is around the production. So here I like to say it's almost like the back is the new front. So the back end is becoming extremely important as ever before. And you know, it's about cotton workers. I mean, how do we treat people fairly? Do we do fair trade? And having insight into production fully. It's also about chemicals, of course, water, electricity, and all the things we, we use at the plant. But true sustainability comes with true visibility, with accountability and actions all along the supply chain. So how do brands facilitate that? Yeah, it's a good question. How can brands already today facilitate this? I, I would say that many are doing a great job already and have been doing so for a while. And the rest, that are not doing it already, they have to really catch up because the, the train is leaving the platform now. And I would say one of our clients, uh, they are a good role model in this because they start already from the design process by specifying the garment, knowing if the material is made for recycling and also other detail that can avoid waste in production, for example. And then they gather data along the supply chain put it on a QR code, making it available for consumers, you know, to, uh, to scan the tag and uh, get the data they need. So if we look at this illustration here, we can see that the supply chain is really long from end to end. It goes all the way to the field and then up to the consumer at the end. There are many data points to collect along the way. As mentioned before, it starts with PLM and all the specifications and all the detail of the materials are really necessary as long as the compliance of suppliers. And then we can see we can follow the supply chain and we go with raw materials into production and finish products out of the production plant. And here we have to collect a lot of data points as mentioned before, chemical, water, electricity, etc. And carbon footprint, big thing for the supply chain to keep track of and monitoring and measuring. And what about the end of life of a product? What, do, what, what should brands do to reduce the carbon footprint of products that consumers don't want to wear anymore? It is an interesting topic. It's really about extending the life cycle of a product. So rather than producing new all the time, taking care of what we already have. And what we see here is a lot of new initiatives like recycling of clothing and reselling. 
And interestingly enough, reselling or secondhand trading platforms are growing a lot. It's even outperforming physical retail stores selling at some places. And, and there, overall we see a shift, I would say, around a product-centric model to a more service-centric model. So if we are not, let's say, selling so many new products all the time, maybe brands need to think about how can I offer something different, service offerings, like I can repair your products, I can help you resell them or remake them or, or any other kind of initiative that they can su support the consumer with and help them with. And uh, that's something we see more and more coming and I think that needs also to be taken into account that you have flexibility you know to, to open up and evolve your business models because it's moving really fast at the moment and consumers are expecting you know that, that uh, you are able to offer things like this. Thanks so much Helene that was really informative it's nice to see how PLM can help with sustainability. Next up in our series is a deep dive into sustainability in fashion manufacturing. So join me next time when I speak to some of our manufacturing experts on how the right tech can help tackle some of those issues.